Hey guys, what's going on? This is Panatar Dragon, and today we'll be doing a little video on why you should never surrender. So I did a video like this a while ago, called Why You Shouldn't Give Up On Games. In the gameplay footage in that video, we had an AFK, in which later he came back, and I was also on my smurf. This video on the other hand was on my main, and I'd say a very interesting game that happened to me. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to explain the mentality I have throughout the game, and kind of show you guys how you can come back from a big disadvantage. Since a lot of you guys, you know, want to see how to win games that are seemingly unwinnable. This video should also help you with decision making, if that is one of your flaws. As I'm going to explain my thought process throughout this video. So with all that being said, let's get started. Alright, so first off, I'm going to explain what's going on in the first few minutes and the game scenario. So already, in the first two minutes, my bottom lane gives up two kills. Already, that's not really looking like a good start at all. But then, what happens at my top lane is he dies. And later on, we go for a little dive in the mid lane, but it uh, kind of goes south. As you do see, Quinn is coming in to try to teleport, and Lux catches the binding on LeBlanc. So already, my mid lane, top lane, and bottom lane are losing. And I'm thinking, it's going to be a really hard game. But the idea of going on tilt does not phase me, in fact, I don't really go on tilt at all. I do care that my teammates are kind of feeding, but I'm trying to think of how we can win this game with the scenario that we have right now. So what my plan is, I'm going to try and camp top. I feel like Quinn is an easy gank, Wukong is definitely a strong champion in the mid game and late game. And the reason I do not go mid or bot is because Lux is kind of a hard champion for Udu to kill. Uh, she can throw a binding at me, and also if I go bottom, we probably won't even get a kill considering there are like 3 or 4 kills behind. And right here my teammates ask want to open mid, I reply with I'm still ahead, so no. But it is looking very grim at this point. But I am open to the idea of opening mid if all my teammates want to. But I'm still playing because I kind of feel like I'm still in the game. But the game scenario actually gets worse if you look right here. Our bot lane is actually level 2 and 3 versus a level 6 Lucian and Nami. And there's 7 kills behind with the tower down. So you can see this game is just snowballing super hard. And it's not looking good. But I'm still thinking about how I can win this game. And that's camping top lane because it's an easy kill. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to our stronger side of the map instead of the weaker side. And trying to make our top lane very strong. So that maybe he can kill a Lucian. Although it will be very hard for him to kill Lucian since Lucian machine is very fat. Fast forward a little bit ahead, uh, we see that the enemy team is pushing our mid tower at 9 minutes. Yeah, this game is not looking too hot, so right here we try and make something happen. We're gonna try and pinch at them on all sides, maybe get a kill right here. Uh, Wukong gets a really nice initiation, but they actually all escape and we don't get a kill. That was probably one of our ways of coming back if we did get one or two kills right there, as that would have been our comeback into the game for sure. But after that, there is actually a small window for us to farm a little bit, and considering that teamfight was so close even though it was 3v5, it still gives me hope to say that we can still win this and I actually say that we need 5 more minutes, maybe. In fact, something happens right about now where a comeback is, well, bound to happen. So there's a little 2v2 catch on the top side. You can see it's a Quinn and Nami versus me and Wukong who are somewhat ahead. Well, compared to the rest of our team. So easy kills right here. And previously, before this team fight, I was thinking, hey, we have a little chance. Now, we have a slight chance of winning, maybe 30%. And you can still see that I'm trying to hug my top side, which is our strong side, instead of our bot side since, well, that's our really weak side. You can see that the enemy team is taking the bottom tower, but even if I showed up, they probably still would have took the tower. So I'm just trying to make picks and kind of stall the game. So that's one of my goals to win the game is to try and get to the mid game and late game. Because our mid game and late game team composition is much stronger than the enemy team. So what I'm trying to do is try and stall the game until we get to that point. But still, we are very far behind as their mid lane and bot lane are super strong. And the next thing you're going to see is something that would make the average player go on tilt. I for one do not go on tilt because I do not believe in tilt. And I instantly realized that what I did was a mistake and I won't do it again. Or you know, at least try avoiding it. And the thing is, even if tilt does exist, since I don't believe in it, well, how can it affect me if I'm really against the idea of tilting? The only thing I believe in that is related to tilting is just being bad. If I'm being bad, then all I need to do is get better. The mentality is simple as that. But maybe I am tilting, who knows. But either way, after, let's say I tilted or whatever, I instantly think of what I have to do next to win this game and just move on from what just happened. Fast forward quite a bit into this game, they're now finally sieging onto our inhibitor and we're gonna try and defend it but honestly, if we don't get a clean initiation, one of the best things to do is to just let them have it. 
but this Lee Sin overextends pretty hard and we can catch him pretty easily. So that's our pick of the team fight, and now we are in a 5v4 situation, but they're still extremely strong. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to start a fight, but I realize we don't have a lot of ultimates left, and honestly they're backing off, so I'm just going to take the win and farm up to get back into that mid game and late game. Plus running into them as Udyr into like Lux, Quinn, and Nami straight into them instead of flanking them, that just says, uh, well, I'm going to get kited super hard. So taking the kill and them backing off the inhibitor is definitely a win for us. You don't need to take more and get greedy, especially since all the ultimates are down. Next up is going to be a team fight that um, they actually win, because finally they're actually playing the team fights right and kicking Wukong away, and basically we end up losing a team fight. And we also lose an inhibitor because of this. Well, at least our bot lane is level 9. So, yeah, that's the first inhibitor going down at 18 minutes. We are still severely behind because if we look at the mini map, they have 8 towers and we have 2. I also looked at their gold advantage at 19 minutes and they were 9k up. That definitely means a lot because it was before 20 minutes. If it was around 60 minutes, it doesn't really mean shit. But right here, we actually lose two inhibitors because we got out rotated. At this point, I cannot really stop them because, well, I'm pretty late and I might as well just keep pushing this wave. At this point, 20 minutes, two inhibitors. There's two ways the enemy can win. They can either get Baron, which I have to prevent from them getting by maybe a smite steal or something like that, or they can just push bottom and let the super minions push in on us. Either way, for an enemy team, their victory conditions are pretty simple. And since I know there are conditions to win, I have to have a ward on Baron to see what they're doing or stop the super minions from pushing onto us and hope to god that we can stop them from getting our bottom tower. So the enemy team looks like they want to do bottom tower and all they have to do is wait for the super minions to push in and then they can get the tower. So what we have to do is fight them 5v5 straight up before this happens. So we gotta wait for the enemy team to screw up or Wukong to get a good initiation. I'll let you guys watch to see what happens. Oh boy. Okay, I don't know actually how we won that because Wukong got the shittiest ultimate, but yeah, the enemy team had like a 9k gold lead, and I'd say they kind of played the team fight somewhat poorly, but off that team fight, it kind of tells us that we can actually win this game, and now they're not going to try and siege on us because, well, it kind of failed. So my job now is to prevent them from baroning and to try and push out the waves. And you guys can probably see this now, but it's definitely looking like we can win. Here's another team fight that you guys can watch. And yeah, as you can see, we're actually coming back from a game that was so impossibly lost. And as you can see, as long as I see a clear win condition for us to winning the game, I won't surrender. Even if it's a very low chance that we might be able to win, I will still tank it because it's a ranked game, not a normal game, right? In the wise words of Leonardo DiCaprio, quitters never prosper. And so I will never back down. Now let's actually fast forward quite a bit of time, and you'll see that something actually went wrong and uh, we're back at square one. And shit's going bad yet again. Luckily, somehow my team aces them with them having Baron in a 4v5 situation. Now in the wise words of Leonardo da Vinci, miracles do happen. And now the game's even stalled out even more, and we're hitting that mid game late game spike where we outscale the enemy. But in between the time that we actually were losing and then winning again, Jinx and LeBlanc died, you know, our two carries, and I knew they want to go for the inhibitors, so what my plan was, was to stop the minions from pushing in onto us by split pushing and distracting the enemy so they couldn't get in our base. Now, someone like Udyr is the only jungler who is really good at doing this kind of crap since he is very tanky and fast. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just trying to delay the game as much as possible. Now fast forward way into the future, we get a few picks. My team is doing work, I was busy split pushing the super minions, and now we can just siege onto the enemy team. We even kill Lux, yay. And we're actually thinking of ending it, but uh, well, 
We don't want to risk it because we've secured the game already since we've hit that mid game and late game power spike and are already outscaling the enemy team since we're winning these team fights. So what we do is we take the inhibitor, get out, wait for our team to buy, and then basically win the game since we're stronger in team fights. And now the final team fight is coming up, so why don't we watch it and see what happens? Okay, well, um, that wasn't really too exciting, but it was a team fight, and it was the last one of this game. So, in conclusion, what I want you guys to take out of this video is that you should never give up on games in League of Legends or even things in real life. I definitely don't give up until I see that logically there's no way of winning, but there's usually always a way. And next up, do not believe in the concept of tilt. If you believe in this stupid concept, you will, well, tilt. If you don't believe in it like me, you won't get too stressed out, you won't get mad at this game. And yeah, when playing this game, your emotions are kind of neutral. Like, you don't care too much, but you don't care too little to not win the game, right? So in that sense, it is best to put your negative emotions aside. And finally, miracles are made by Disney. Also, here is a gold chart to see what exactly happened throughout this game, so you get an idea of how snowball this game really was. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And for this video, I want you guys to comment below on your thoughts about tilting. Do you believe in tilting? Do you tilt hard when things aren't going your way? What makes you tilt? Or are you like me, and is really against the idea of tilt, and think it's just all in people's heads? Like if someone asked me if I were tilting, I'd be like, fuck no, I don't tilt. At least I think I don't. And yeah, my goal for the comment section in this video will hopefully be somewhat of a discussion. And don't worry, I'll definitely try and respond to some of your comments. And yeah, if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos like this. And I am Hansard Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Welcome to my deck.